DSM-5 made an important change in the developmental category. In DSM-4, autism and Asperger's disorder were considered to be separate conditions. In DSM-5, however, they were merged into one diagnosis. The idea is that they represent differences in degree of impairment along the autism spectrum, not separate conditions. However, this is a controversial change because some people who previously met the diagnostic criteria for Asperger's do not meet the criteria for autism. You might think, well, isn't that good? They're no longer thought of as having a mental illness. Well, maybe, but they're still the same person. If they were previously receiving services that require a diagnosis in order to be paid for by an insurance company or by the state, they will now lose these services. Many families of Asperger's clients are very upset about this. Also, just after this change was made official, a scientific study was published that offers some evidence that Asperger's and autism look different in brain imaging techniques. This is an excellent example of how even though the intent was to make changes in the DSM-5 based on scientific data, new science is always being generated that may call into question the validity of previous decisions. It is also an excellent example of how changes in diagnostic criteria can have a real and serious impact on people's lives.